What is going on YouTube? Uh, I recently picked up uh, this Thermapro uh, InstaRead uh, meat thermometer and I'm gonna use it for the first time, smoking a, uh, a Boston butt and I figured I would do a quick review. Let's take a look at the uh, probe. This is the Thermapro TP19. Is that what I got, the 19? Yes, the 19. And I paid roughly $30 for this off of Amazon. They try to compare this to a Thermapen, which is a hundred bucks. Uh, the Thermapen is made in the United States and this is made overseas in China or something. I'm not sure. But like I said, I'm using this guy for the first time and we will see how it works. Let's uh, open up the box and see what comes inside. All right, doing this box opening with one hand. Let's see if it just comes out. All right, it comes out. All right, looks like it comes with a uh, little screwdriver so that probably means it comes with batteries comes with the uh manual yep a battery and the actual probe itself first impressions that it's in my hand uh, this does weigh less than the thermopen uh, my nephew has a thermopen and i was using that uh, i don't know two weeks ago when i was smoking something on his grill uh, this definitely weighs less but this is uh water resistant. Let's get some batteries in it and uh, see how it works out. Here we go. So on the back here, it's got a little cheat sheet uh, for uh, for meat temperatures. You can see I've got the battery in there and you can see there that little black ring around it. That's actually a little uh, a little rubber gasket and I guess that will keep the uh, the water out if it gets dropped in the water or if you need to uh, you know clean it after a long day of barbecue. The fact that this comes with a little screwdriver is uh, actually pretty cool. Whenever you buy a toy for your kid or, or a tool that needs a little battery in it, uh, you know, you're always looking for a little eyeglass size uh, screwdriver. So it's nice that this comes with one. Let's turn this on. So this should turn on if I open this up. And again, try to do this. Oh, there we go. Look at it. Yep, it turns on. And right now uh, it is saying it is 73 degrees uh, in my house. I should figure it's a little less than that. Yep, okay, so it's going down. And if I spin this this way, It spins around, and if I spin it this way, it spins around, and if I go like this, now I know with the thermopen, you know, it, it tells you the temperature this way, it tells you the temperature this way, and it tells you the temperature this way, but with this one, it looks like it's only this way, and this way, and then when I close it, again, with one hand, it should turn off. Bam, and there's a little click where it uh, clicks in place. I just put a Boston butt on the grill. You can see my internal temperature of the meat and my kettle temperature right here. So I'm in for a uh, long smoke. It's about eight and a half pounds. In probably about three and a half, four hours, I'll stick this probe in and see what the temperature is. And we'll see how fast it, uh, it gets the temperature as well. All right, it is time to probe this meat. See here, it is a uh, 65.7 degrees outside. Oh man, that really goes in there pretty easy. Oh, oh I hit the bone. That really is going in just like butter. Let's pull that out and let's see how fast it goes back down to the ambient air temperature. Another cool thing that this uh, has on it is say you're you got like a weird angle, you know, like, oh, I, oh, I can't see the temperature. You press the lock button, and then the temperature stays for a little bit, you know, five or six seconds. Because otherwise, you put it in, and you get your temperature reading, and you pull it out, and then it immediately starts cooling off. There's the bone. Pulled out just like that. Is that a bone? That is the bone, yes. The budget Thermapro InstaRead uh, thermometer. Uh, it worked great. Uh, of course, I've only used it one time, uh, so only time will tell uh, to see whether it can uh, stand up against uh, the what everybody knows, the, the kind of industry standard is the Thermapen, which costs more than twice as much. Uh, this one, it definitely feels a little 
definitely feels a little cheaper in your hand uh, than the Thermapen, but it tells the temperature really fast. I wish I had the Thermapen uh, with me so I could have actually done a comparison, uh, but this pen works great. Uh, I've used it once now, uh, and I'm looking forward to smoking a brisket next weekend. Uh, maybe I'll actually do a video of that. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section below. Speaking of the comment section below, if you guys have any questions uh, at all, uh, please leave them down there. Uh, and if you uh, did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe. Have yourself a great day and continue smoking.